Hello and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. It is quite a long reading today. So if you usually make yourself a drink after watching this show, can I advise that you pause this video, go and grab that drink, and then come back to me and no one pause the video. Don't worry, I'll wait right here for you. Ah, you're back. Okay, and let us continue with the reading. It's Numbers chapter 7 today. Let's open God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, that you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Numbers, chapter 7 On the day that Moses had finished setting up the tabernacle, and had anointed it, and sanctified it, with all its furniture, and the altar with all its vessels, and had anointed and sanctified them, the princes of Israel, the heads of their father's houses offered. These were the princes of the tribes. These are they who were over those who were counted. And they brought their offering before Yahweh. Six covered wagons and twelve oxen. A wagon for every two of the princes. And for each one an ox. And they presented them before the tabernacle. Yahweh spoke to Moses saying, Accept these from them so that they may be used in doing the service at the tent of meeting. And you shall give them to the Levites, to every man according to his service. Moses took the wagons and the oxen, and gave them to the Levites. He gave two wagons and four oxen to the sons of Gershom, according to their service. And he gave four wagons and eight oxen to the sons of Mahari, according to their service, under the direction of Ephemar, the son of Aaron, the priest. But to the sons of Kohath he gave none, because the service of the sanctuary belonged to them. They carried it on their shoulders. The princes gave offerings for the dedication of the altar in the day that it was anointed. Even the princes gave their offerings before the altar. Yahweh said to Moses, They shall offer their offering, each prince on his day, for the dedication of the altar. He who offered his offering the first day, or Nahashon, the son of Hamiadab, of the tribe of Judah, and his offering was one silver platter, the weight of which was one hundred thirty shekels, one silver bowl of seventy shekels, after the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a meal offering, one golden ladle of ten shekels full of incense, one young bull, one ram, one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two head of cattle, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old. This was the offering of Nashon, the son of Hamidab. On the second day, Nathaniel, the son of Zohar, prince of Ezekiel, gave his offering. He offered for his offering on silver platter, the weight of which was 130 shekels. One silver bowl of seventy shekels, out of the shekel of the sanctuary. Both of them full of fine flour, mixed with oil for meal offering. One golden ladle of ten shekels full of incense. One young bull, one ram, or male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, or male goat for a sin offering. And for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two head of cattle, five rams, five male goats, five male lambs a year old. This was the offering of Nathaniel, the son of Zuhar. On the third day, Eliab, the son of Helon, prince of the children of Zebulon, gave his offering. One silver platter, the weight of which was a hundred and thirty shekels. One silver bowl of seventy shekels, after the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour, mixed with oil for a meal offering. One golden ladle of ten shekels, full of incense, one young bull, one ram. One male lamb a year old, for a burnt offering. One male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two head of cattle, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old. This was the offering of Eliab, the son of Elam. On the fourth day, Elisha, the son of Shehdur, prince of the children of Reuben, gave his offering. On silver platter, the weight of which was one hundred thirty shekels. On silver bowl, of seventy shekels, after the shekel of the sanctuary. Both of them full of fine flour, mixed with oil for a meal offering, one golden ladle of ten shekels full of incense, 
one young bull, one ram, one male lamb, a year old, for a burnt offering, one male goat, for sin offering, for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two head of cattle, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs, a year old. This was the offering of Elisa, the son of Shaddai. On the fifth day, Shimonel, the son of Azariah prince of the children of Simeon, gave his offering. On silver platter, the weight of which was 130 shekels. On silver bowl, of 70 shekels out of the shekel of the sanctuary. Both of them full of fine flour, mixed with oil for a meal offering. On golden ladle, of 10 shekels full of incense. One young bull, one ram. One male lamb, a year old, for a burnt offering. One male goat, for a sin offering. And for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two head of cattle, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old. This was the offering of Shemuel, the son of Zuasadai. On the sixth day, Elisaphath, the son of Joel, prince of the children of Gad, gave his offering. On silver platter, the weight of which was 130 shekels. On silver bowl of 70 shekels, at the shekel of the sanctuary. Both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a meal offering. One golden ladle or ten shekels full of incense, one young bull, one ram, one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two head of cattle, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old. This was the offering of Elisaph, the son of Joel. On the seventh day, Elisham, the son of Amidod, prince of the children of Ephraim, gave his offering, on silver platter, the weight of which was 130 shekels, on silver bowl, of 70 shekels, after the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour, mixed with oil for a meal offering, on golden ladle of 10 shekels, full of incense, one young bull, one ram, one male lamb, a year old, for a burnt offering, one male goat, for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two head of cattle, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old, this was the offering of Elishama, the son of Hamid. On the eighth day, Gamaliel, the son of Pedadassur, prince of the children of Nasa, gave his offering. One silver platter, the weight of which was 130 shekels. One silver bowl, or 70 shekels, out of the shekel of the sanctuary. Both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a meal offering. One golden ladle of 10 shekels full of incense. One young bull, one ram. One male lamb a year old for a burnt offering. One male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two headed cattle, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old. This was the offering of Gamiel, the son of Pehazur. On the ninth day, Abidon, the son of Gideonai, prince of the children of Benjamin, gave his offering. One silver platter, the weight of which was 130 shekels. One silver bowl of seventy shekels, after the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour, mixed with oil for a meal offering. One golden ladle of ten shekels, full of incense. One young bull, one ram, one male lamb a year old, for a burnt offering. One male goat, for a sin offering. And for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two head of cattle, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old. This was the offering of Abidan, the son of the Gideonai. On the tenth day, as is there, the son of Amishadai, prince of the children of Dan, gave his offering, one silver platter, the weight of which was 130 shekels, one silver bowl of 70 shekels out of the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour, makes a oil for meal offering, one golden ladle of 10 shekels full of incense, one young bull, one ram, one male lamb a year old, for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two head of cattle, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs he rode. This was the offering of Hazizar, the son of Amesh Adai. On the eleventh day, Hagiel, the son of Akron, prince of the children of Asher, gave his offering. One silver platter, the weight of which was one hundred thirty shekels. One silver bowl of seventy shekels, after the shekel of the sanctuary. Both of them full of fine flour, mixed with oil for a meal offering. One golden ladle of ten shekels full of incense, one young bull, one ram, one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two head of cattle, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old. This was the offering of Pigel, the son of Akron.
On the twelfth day, Ahera, the son of Enan, prince of the children of Nephtali, gave his offering. One silver platter, the weight of which was one hundred thirty shekels. One silver bowl of seventy shekels after the shekel of the sanctuary. Both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for meal offering. One golden spoon of ten shekels full of incense. One young bull, one ram. One male lamb, a year old, for burns offering. One male goat, for sin offering. And for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two red cattle, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old. This was the offering of Ahira, the son of Nina. This was the dedication of the altar. On the day when it was anointed, by the princes of Israel, twelve silver platters, twelve silver bowls, twelve golden ladles, each silver platter weighing one hundred thirty shekels, and each bowl seventy, all the silver of the vessels two thousand four hundred shekels, under the shekel of the sanctuary, the twelve golden ladles full of incense weighing ten shekels apiece, after the shekel of the sanctuary, all the golden ladles weighed one hundred twenty shekels. All the cattle for the burnt offering twelve bulls, the rams twelve, the male lambs a year old twelve, and the male offering, the male goats for a sin offering twelve, and all the cattle for the sacrifice of peace offerings twenty four bulls, the rams sixty, the male goats sixty, the male lambs a year old sixty. This was the dedication of the altar after it was anointed. When Moses went in to the tent meeting to speak with Yahweh, he heard his voice speaking to him. From above the mercy sheet that was on the ark of the testimony, from between the two cherubim, and he spoke to him. Yeah.